Alrighty, folks, welcome to the finale, the final part of the Bully playthrough, part 34, because we are now heading to the final mission of the whole entire game. Although some people who are playing the game casually probably wouldn't have expected that this upcoming mission was the final mission, but no, no. This stop we're making at Zoe's house. This is where all the shit goes down. <laughs> Time to see some complete mayhem. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. So I forgot, they did confirm. Russell did steal a cop bike. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so, so even before he knew that we needed to go to the industrial park, he had stolen a, a bike from a cop. <laughs> good lord, Russell. Good lord. But we need to save him from the police, so we have to go and get him out of here. Which means getting in the line of sight of a whole bunch of angry cops. But don't worry, we're not at red notoriety, so they're not going to instantly kill me if they grab me. Yeah. Give up now, and I promise I'll only give you a mild beating. Jimmy, <laughs> there you are. I don't know what to do, and I smell like me. A little busy, Russell. I'm a little busy. <laughs> But yeah, we just gotta get Russell flushed out of the slaughterhouse, and then we just have to follow him, and that's pretty much it. Yep, nothing too hard. Oh god, they're everywhere! I've already been expelled, I can't go to Juvie! <laughs> Come on out! No one's gonna hurt you! Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America! We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. <laughs> if all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. <laughs> cool. Then it's a plan. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry, Russell will get it! Grr! That kinda hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. Jesus Christ, Donkey Kong, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, amazingly, I'm not sure how this came about or what the circumstances are, but Gary managed to somehow dispose of the prefects and teachers. He's tied up the principal. Um, and he's managed to convince all of the cliques to just go all out to war. And they're all fighting each other. Yep, it is crazy. Come on. Look at this shit! <laughs> the nerds! Ernest, you nerd! What were you thinking? You fool! You don't see it! Gary's got a plan! A great plan! You idiot! Gary's plans are a load of crap! I should know! You don't get it! My brains and his lack of morals, nothing can stop us! Whatever! I'm gonna stop you both! Come on then, Rambo! <laughs> Seriously, he's dressed like Rambo, what the hell? Oh <laughs> so yeah, they're just like burning shit in the gym and stuff. Like, this is fucking complete anarchy. Complete anarchy here at Bullworth, which is uh, 
Not how I expected this game to end. Complete mayhem. Yeah, complete mayhem. Not exactly how I expected this game to end. <laughs> like, literally, there are no rules or morals, and everyone is just pissing each other and just beating each other up. It's it's crazy. <laughs> so we gotta knock some heads out of all the clicks. Hey, Dirk, someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Crush! So yeah, all we're really doing until we square off with Gary is finding all of the click leaders and just beating the hell out of them. And uh, Darby here's giving me a lot of shit. Yep. <laughs> he seems a lot harder than the first time I fought him. He definitely felt that way too, yeah. Have potato. Mm. Potato. Like, he survived the potato shot. He's got a lot of health, this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out, wannabe Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is you always have Russell as backup uh, whenever you're taking on these clicks, and he's a force to be reckoned with, as we know. Yep. I've never actually had him drain all his health, have you? No. No, Russell stays pretty strong through this whole mission. Yeah, I've never seen anyone take down Russell. He's a tank. So, that's the nerds, that's the preppies. We just got two more clicks to go. Gotta get to the library, but I'll cut through this shortcut like I always do. Yep. See, all the kids are just going ape shit and they're just fighting. Uh, I'm not really paying attention to them too much, but you'll see, like, the nerds, the greasers, the jock, everybody is just beating the shit out of everybody. It is... it's... it's pandemonium. And they're... and they're throwing weapons, too. Yeah. Ted! I need you to help me! Get lost, Jimmy! You ain't nothing! You're just asking for it! Come on, Theodore. Theodore. <laughs> Isn't that the full name for Ted? Yeah, Theodore. Okay. So feel free to call my friend X and Shadow Theodore. I'm yes. sure he'll love it. Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> Our dear friend Theodore. <laughs> Good old Theodore. <laughs> uh, that was something the jocks didn't really do to me much at all during this entire playthrough. Sometimes they love to fucking, like, lunge at you and just tackle you. Like they're Bill Goldberg or something. Yeah. This guy tried to do it, but nope, not gonna let him have it. Nah, uh, uh. All right, and now we're gonna find the last faction leader. They just TP'd everything. They put graffiti all over the place. Like Jesus. The library is a place for nerds. That's why the jocks are gonna take over it. <laughs> you gotta think the mass consequence that would happen after this event. Like God, these kids must be in serious fucking trouble afterwards. Well, they can't expel the whole school, can they? I, I guess not. <laughs> I <but>. mean... <laughs> Still. This is awesome. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. I got you out of an asylum, you piece of shit. <laughs> we'll finish beating you up nothing! Oh, oh shit, he spit on you. Motherfucker. As soon as he did that, I knew I had to spit on him right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Johnny Vincent. You're asking for it. So, you tackle him when he's low health, and... Go, oh, spit him back. Right where it belongs. <laughs> Put that in your hair, you grease ball. <laughs> and Russell also cleaning house. Good job, Russell. I did it for Johnny. <laughs> did it for Johnny. <laughs> what do these guys have against the girls anyway? Why'd they trash the girls' dorm? Jesus. Lola. Yeah. <laughs> Lola probably trash talked the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> if damn. I had to guess. Johnny, you and Lola. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but all the clicks leaders are done with. It's time to meet with the head honcho. 
Finally. <laughs> Here we go. You ready, Kara? Yes, I am. Let's do this. The finish, you bunch of bitches! That was incredibly satisfying! Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin! Motherfucking Gary Smith. Fat Gary Smith, he's gonna go down. Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've hurt your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet, only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Okay, so we needed to chase after Gary, but we are climbing the top of Bullworth Academy on these very thin platforms, and, uh, you don't want to fall. Yep, <laughs> you definitely don't want to fall here. You're I've never fallen here, so... From the start, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Also, the prefects took our stuff. Uh, you'll notice they actually grabbed our slingshot and whatnot when they grabbed us, so we're... Empty-handed here. Yep. And Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Gary really wants you dead. <laughs> that could have killed me. <laughs> that was cinder blocks, goddammit. And as you're chasing Gary, he keeps giving you the spiel about how you're an idiot and how he easily tricked you. What a genius mastermind Gary is. <laughs> And once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little... And just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all. It all fell together so perfectly. While well, you were off wasting your time with whores like Lola, I was in the dorm planning. While you were racing bikes, while you were playing at the carnival like a child, my plan was coming together. Okay, buddy, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it! I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> no! Oh, no. When you go after his mom, Gary, that's when Jimmy wants to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she is on her 58th honeymoon and on some cruise somewhere. You just don't mess with this mom, period. <laughs> <laughs> Once you bring the mother into it, nuh uh. Mm -mm. Time to kick your fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gary's not really that difficult of a fight. He kind of fights just like any other student, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's not a hard fight. <laughs> It's just every now and then they interrupt with like a QTE where you mass triangle and then you go further and further down the building, down the scaffolding and stuff. It's like, oh god. <laughs> I would say Edgar was harder than this, though. Yeah. 
The music's great, though. Oh, the music is fantastic. Yeah, I love the track here. Mm -hmm. God, it's so good. Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named <laughs> Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, he should be head of the school. Pete? <laughs> Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? What letter? Oh, boy. Ooh. Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. And Jimmy gets his eighth girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to canonically think that he ends up with Zoe at the end of all this. Yeah, do you think they're going to get married after they grow up? I don't know about that, <laughs> but for <laughs> now, for now, Jimmy has his happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Bully for the PlayStation 2, and it's also on Xbox 360, uh, and the Wii, and PC through Scholarship Edition, and uh, PS4 as well, uh, technically. Yep. I actually played through the PS4 version, uh, playtesting it. Uh, to get prepared for this LP, and that game actually is pretty fine. I, I didn't find the PS4 version had any glaring glitches or anything. It has trophy support if you want uh, a platinum trophy. And, um, yeah. This is the one Rockstar title I think a lot of people have wanted a sequel to for a very, very, very long time. Same here. I've wanted it for years. <laughs> like... Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it was it was the start of Rockstar starting to like make their games a lot more convenient to play. Uh, it was just so friggin' fun with all the various mini-games, and the story was undercooked, but it was certainly goofy and silly and still fun in that Rockstar way. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and it, and I, and I definitely loved playing it, you know, I, I was glad to own a copy since 2006. I always wanted to do a Let's Play of some kind of open-world type game, and I thought, what better game than Bully? And what better person to have joining me with Bully than you, Caro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, I did play Bully around the time it came out um, in 2006, so um, to give you a time frame for y'all, I was in middle school at the time, and you know middle school, like, that's kind of an awkward time, like, you're hitting puberty, other people are hitting puberty, and like, you're starting to learn more about social circles and just getting along with people, and I wasn't the most popular person, I was such a dork, and like, I got bullied a lot in middle school, for, like, all that stuff. But this game, like, this game's really cathartic for me. Like, uh -huh. I kind of wish that, like, I had someone standing up for me back then. And this game, like, certainly taught me to, like, you know, be more assertive. Like, it, it was a really nice game to play at a time where things in my social life were really awkward, you know. I was just starting to get a sense of self of who I was as a person. But this game, by means, like, it's not perfect. As you saw, their plot holes... Like, there's the issue with Gary not being present until, like, chapter 5. Yeah. Um, the game's certainly glitchy, but I... This is one of my favorite games of all time. I would absolutely put it in my top 10. Like, I just love it a lot. It's... 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 It's been great. It's one... It's a game that I go back to pretty frequently. I played it a lot in uh, my recent playthrough um, a few months ago. I still have that feeling. I still feel very confident saying that, like, this is... It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it was still super fun for me as well, and I was always curious, like, what would a sequel be able to improve? What would the sequel actually do with, like, a school setting in modern day with, like, smartphones and stuff? Yeah. 
who would the protagonist be? Maybe we could do like girl bullies. Maybe we'd actually play a female protagonist in Bully too. I don't know. I thought that, I think that would be interesting. Or like cyberbullying, because that's been a thing recently with social media. Uh huh. There's so many things you could take with this franchise, and you know, if they're gonna do another Red Dead, if they're gonna do Max Payne three, like ten years after the fact that Max Payne two came out. Come on, Rockstar, let's do Bully again. <laughs> let's do another Bully. I hope so. People have been wanting a Bully sequel for a long, long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like the one thing that's teased every year at E3 where I'm like, it's not happening. I, I wanted mm -hmm. to, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not so sure. But if it comes, it comes. And if it ever gets announced, I'm definitely going to pick it up. Indubitably. Mm-hmm. It's amazing I don't know any of the voice actors in this game, really. Like, I, I looked up all the voice actors who played all the characters on IMDb, and I just didn't recognize them from anything. <laughs> yeah, same here. I mean, Rockstar likes to always go with lots of no-name actors most of the time, but still. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's like, I, I don't know... I don't think uh, J Jerry Rosenthal, who plays Jimmy, I don't think he did anything after Bully. No. Like, m movie or TV-wise. He does music stuff. Yeah. But other than that, no, he hasn't really done much of anything. So technically we're in chapter six right now, the endless summer. Um, this is just so you can do all the tasks that you didn't do when you finished the story. So if you want to help out Mr. Hat Trick and, or sorry, Mr. Galloway with Hat Trick, uh, that can still be done in chapter six. I got the emblem for completing the story. And uh, off screen, I also got a whole bunch of other stuff so I could show it off right now in this finale the blue skies industrial stuff the gnome these are all new trophies that i got for my room the trophy the gold trophy i got for completing every single bike race because that's something i was doing off screen i figured you didn't want to watch all of that yeah but i did get every single room trophy for the ps2 version so it's very decorated it's very decorated yes sir bob and uh <gasps> look at this thing right yeah! here it's a rubber band ball. So if you collect all the rubber bands in the um, world, then you get the rubber band ball, which is this ridiculous weapon. Clement will show it off here soon. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, why are you hitting me? Because it's the end of the game, buddy. It's the end of the game and I got to hit somebody. <laughs> Like, if you if you especially throw this ball at a crowded room of people, it does serious damage. <laughs> that that ball managed to hit the guy in the white shirt and hit the kid on the ground. And there's like, they're all bouncing around. They can like destroy the TV and destroy the windows. And you can throw so many, like you have to wait for it to recharge. You have an unlimited amount of rubber balls, but eventually you can just throw them and they're just bouncing all over the room and stuff. Yeah. Let's make out. Come over here. Also, uh, Zoe actually shows up at Bullworth for the majority of Chapter 6. So you can run into her and make out with her anytime you want. And she's got a school uniform, eh? Yep, Zoe's a Bullworth student again. You do have some uses. <laughs> <laughs> the Chapter 6 never really ends. We got your education back, Zoe. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're helping you have a, a sustainable career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All I saw were girls. I had no one else to hit. <laughs> now the prefects are chasing me, but I got a rubber ball! <laughs> and you can still do things like this. You can still go on a rampage and just cause lots of mischief. So even if you are a good person... You can be an inner asshole and an actual bully in this game as well. <laughs> the kid got hit twice. <laughs> oh, oh, poor kid. No, Gloria, no! <laughs> I love that it just bounces all over the fucking room. I love that. It's awesome. It's so, it's so, this is so worth getting all the rubber bands in the game, just so you know. Yeah. And again, you'll never run out. Just recharges and recharges over and over again, yep. so you'll never run out of this item. Mm -mm. But you have to find it throughout all of Bullworth, and there are 75 of them, and they can be pretty cryptic, so... Understandably, it's gotta be a good weapon. Come on, buddy! What you doing? Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
But alas, my my fun at Bullworth has to come to an end. No. So, uh, oh no! No, you're busted. Oh. You're in detention forever. Detention forever. Detention forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We finished it. We did it. We finished bullies before I could take my summer break. Thank God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if I have any other plans to do more open world games. Um, I have kind of been intrigued to do some more after bully. Um, I certainly want to bring Caro back for some playthroughs. I'm sure you want to be back, right? Right? Please say yes. Yes. <laughs> this was so much fun. Like... Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. This is fun. Cool. So, hit me up. You know where to find me. Miss underscore mix. Underscore. Yes. So, um, if you're interested in, like, you know, reading my thoughts or if you liked me and Bully, you can find me on Twitter at Miss underscore mix underscore. So that's two underscores, and yeah, I talk about video games and wrestling and whatever's on my mind. Indubitably. And poke Clement with memes. She is the meme queen yes. on social media. Mm -hmm. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I want to give a special thank you to the people who chose to watch a non-Sonic playthrough of mine and stuck with me for the long haul. So thanks for watching if you've been watching since part one. Yep. And, uh... We'll cook up something fun next time. But uh, until then, I am the great Clement. It has been fun. And I am Caro. <laughs> Toodles. Bye. <laughs>